Welcome back to Tiny Meadow, a regenerative flower farm I started this year to stock my flower truck. I'm Rowan, a farmer florist based in Asheville, North Carolina. In this video, we'll take you along as we finish up our late spring tasks. This includes transplanting zinnias and pinching them to promote bushier growth. We'll also be planting our dahlia tubers and showing a few of our first varieties in bloom. In our last update, we took you along as we navigated through troubleshooting our irrigation. Since then, our irrigation has been working well for us, allowing us to catch up on all of our late spring tasks. All 24 of our beds are officially full of plants, growing fast now that the weather is warming up. We have a few varieties blooming now, but most blooms will happen in the next four to six weeks, and I'm excited to say for the first time that Tiny Meadow is starting to really look like a cut flower farm. One of the most exciting jobs in late spring is transplanting all the zinnia starts. The varieties I'm planting here are seeds from Florette Farms breeding program. I'm excited to see how they do here. We're also pinching lots of our plants to ensure that they grow bushier resulting in more stems. So pinching your zinnias is actually really simple. All you have to do is um, go to the middle part of the plant and just snip right above these uh, central leaf nodes. Next we're planting dahlia tubers. Dahlias are a summer favorite and require a bit of preparation. First, dig a hole about six inches deep. Place the tuber in the hole with the eye facing up. Cover it with soil and water thoroughly. In a few weeks, you'll start to see green shoots emerging. As summer begins, we get to enjoy the first blooms of the season. Here we have Isabellina phlox with its delicate yellow flowers and silene blushing lanterns with its airy stems. These early blooms mark the beginning of our summer flowering season. With midsummer upon us, we're busy making sure everything stays watered and thriving. Right now, the elderflowers are in abundance, a true summer staple. We gather them for a midsummer celebration this week on the farm. Thanks for joining us as we transition from spring to summer at Tiny Meadow. Follow along for our next update, where we'll share more about our progress and the flowers we're growing. <laughs>